the opportunity recently of visiting another city to our west, which has economically been very prosperous. They invested millions of dollars in renovation of their downtown. And when they did that, I realized after I returned to Greenville that they were really trying to just emulate what we already have. I think in people's psyche, they miss something. They, they miss the ambiance of the downtown. We have a whole lot of people that are coming into the area now that believe in that as well and are taking those buildings and, and turning them into real treasures. We have a nice combination downtown of historic buildings, vibrant new businesses, we have a couple of new wineries, we have shopping uh, that people find appealing whether it's antiques or ladies boutique shops. But what we have are unique hometown people that offer uh, really excellent customer service, uh, they speak to you person to person. Uh, it's a, it's a, a feel that is uh, missing in many of our department stores, say, today. And they come into our historic downtown and they get the kind of treatment that they used to get 50 or 60 years ago. Nothing like fajitas, nothing like fajitas. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Good for the tummy. Greenville has the best people of any place I've ever been. I've been all around Texas and around the world and Greenville has, you know, uh, the heart of people that just can't be found anywhere else. Greenville, you have good hometown values, uh, friends, family. The people, the friends, I mean, everybody, everybody's real nice here in Greenville. The people here are real friendly, that's what I like it so much about it. Why do you like Greenville? Because it's just a giving and loving place. It's just a mix of the people. You've got a really good core of, uh, of older folks that have lived here their whole life and you've got a good mix of people that have moved into the area. You've got people here that are, that are committed to the town and you can see that kind of everywhere you go. I like the people. The people have been great. The historic downtown is just very charming. The buildings are beautiful old historic buildings. They're affordable. Um, so the city has been very great. The people work with the city, the code department, you know, the city staff. It's got the right appeal to put a production winery. We're going to have a restaurant as well. It just fits. I think wineries fit in old historic downtowns. You have people in Hunt County that are just a couple generations from the people who were pioneers here. You have farmers and ranchers and, and we have one of the high tech industries in the nation at L3 Communications. to have a company like L3 Integrated Systems in our community. Internationally recognized, it specializes in the modernization and maintenance of aircraft of all sizes. L3 both develops and installs the most sophisticated intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems in the world. My name is Tony Norman. I'm the president and CEO of Innovation First. Greenville is located close enough to Dallas that uh, you know you virtually have the same serviceability in a small town that you have in a general metroplex. The other thing we actually like about having a business here in Greenville that once you recruit really good talent they stay here. There's not the, the markets where they like to jump from company to company and you're able to build a really strong company base and not worry about uh, where your employees are or looking over the shoulder next door. I think that Greenville is going to grow in many ways. I think we're going to have the types of development that you typically see uh, with large big box stores. We're going to have more hotels.